might have received a push alert earlier today after the U.S. Senate passed that historic $1.2 trillion infrastructure plan. And now tonight we're going in depth on the impact that that plan could have on Florida if it does become law. Here's our state capital reporter for Saunders. The vote tally this afternoon was 69 to 30 in the Senate, proof that on the federal level at least, Republicans and Democrats can cooperate. But this deal is far from done. Lifelong Floridians, Lisa McAllister and her daughter, Jessica Jopling, have driven every corner of the state. Their feelings on Florida's infrastructure? It's fine. Yeah. It's not great. It's not good. <laughs> but it's fine. The Biden administration would agree. Florida getting a C on its report card, according to the American Society of Civil Engineers. Plenty of room for improvement, says U.S. Ag Sec, Tom Vilsack. Everybody in America knows that we need to invest in, in our bridges to fix them and, and our roads need, need assistance. Over five years, Florida's end of the deal, $13 billion for highways, $245 million for bridges, $2.6 billion for public transit, plus hundreds of millions more for electric vehicles, broadband access, ports, and drinking water. Look, we have been discussing investments in infrastructure, not since this president was elected, but we've been in, in discussing this for the last several presidents. So this has been <laughs> a decade in the making. But not everyone is sold. Mr. Rubio, Mr. Rubio, no. Florida's GOP senators down on the bill. Marco Rubio denouncing it as negotiated in secret and rushed. Rick Scott calling it reckless spending that will fuel an inflation crisis. I mean, our government has just, has just ruined the ability for people without a lot of money uh, to survive. The big price tag, also a big concern. The Congressional Budget Office saying it'll add $256 billion to the national deficit over 10 years. The House now has to take up the bill where it faces an uncertain future. Democrats there wanting the Senate to approve a more expensive and partisan reconciliation bill first. Despite Tuesday's bipartisan victory, a more difficult test of cooperation seems ahead. The Senate has now taken up that $3.5 trillion reconciliation bill. It includes a lot of things that were stripped from the original infrastructure bill, and debate on it is expected to extend into the fall. That is the latest out here at the Capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.